This week on Engineering Newswire, we're drilling holes in Mars, talking into our shoes, and driving robots with moss. This episode is brought to you by Smalley Steel Ring Company, the exclusive manufacturer of spiral locks, retaining rings, and Smalley Wave Springs for more than 50 years. Request samples to try in your application today. Remember Get Smart? Ever since Maxwell Smart first spoke into his soul, I've longed to communicate with my converse. In an effort to draw attention to their recycling program, British cellular service provider O2 is upcycling old unwanted cell phones to give them a new lease on life and turning them into works of art. The first four walkie-talkies designed by Sean Miles are based on iconic footwear including brown leather wingtips, Hunter Boot Wellingtons, Nike Air training shoes, and a set of heels from some French designer. Embedded neatly within the shoes are old LG and Nokia cell phones that have been resold to O2 Recycle. Each walkie-talkie performs as a normal phone would, the keypad is even incorporated into the sole of the shoe. While this is a cool, fashionable, and trendy idea, I want to know if I'm the only one thinking about just how rancid a shoe can be after a few city blocks. You just stepped in a surprise, left by a lazy neighbor, and now it's all up in your face because you had to answer your phone. No thank you. Oh, who brought a dog in here? It was the 180th day on Mars when Curiosity's drill used percussion and rotation to bore two centimeters into its rocky surface. The wee cuttings will be used for evaluation in advance of Rover's first sample collection drilling. Let's hope the drilling goes better than it did for Bruce. Come on, Harry, press the button. Press it. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory confirmed the successful completion of this mini drill test last week. And if the drill cuttings from the fresh hole pass the visual evaluation, the rover team will move forward with the first full drilling. The test was performed on a patch of flat, vein-bearing rock called John Klein, named for a Mars Science Laboratory deputy project manager who died in 2011. Pre-drilling observations indicated that the rock has been wet before and the team plans to analyze sample powder from inside it to learn more about the site's environmental history. During the two-year mission, researchers are using Curiosity's 10 science instruments to assess whether the area has ever offered environmental conditions that are favorable to microbial life. But as for Curiosity at this moment, the answer is in the hole. It's in the hole! It's in the hole! Hey. So we've covered robots that poop, puke, and even have the ability to smell. That's all well and good, but what about the math and programming that goes into adapting bodily functions to robots? The algorithm could be created from the ground up, but what's the fun in that? Researchers at the University of Tokyo are using insects to develop complex algorithms. They created a two-wheeled robot driven by mate-seeking male silk moths. You see, the male moth has a very specific mating dance when it smells the female's pheromones. The moth's odor tracking behavior allowed the researchers to analyze its neural mechanisms down to a single neuron. With a single pheromone puff, the male moth was able to direct the vehicle to his beloved. Even when the robot was altered so that it pulled to one side, most of the moths compensated to keep it on course. Just don't shine any bright lights on the course. Hoping to set up a second test flight, Boeing's liquid hydrogen powered a Phantom Eye UAV recently completed taxi testing at Edwards Air Force Base in California. During the testing, the Phantom Eye demonstrator aircraft reached speeds up to 40 knots, which is about 46 miles per hour. The team also completed software and hardware upgrades to prepare for higher altitudes. This includes the autonomous flight systems, which seem ready for the next flight. The team also improved the aircraft's landing system after Phantom Eye's gear dug into Edwards' lake bed and broke during the first flight. The aircraft's innovative liquid hydrogen propulsion system will allow the aircraft to stay on station for up to four days while providing persistent monitoring over large areas at a ceiling of up to 65,000 feet, creating only water as a byproduct. The demonstrator has a 150-foot wingspan and is capable of carrying a 450-pound payload. Hopefully all future tests go well so that this phantom eye doesn't become a phantom menace. LearnShift is prototyping a writing tool that is capable of recognizing errors in spelling or letter formation in real time. Yep, 
every time you misspell definitely, this pen vibrates. This real-life spell check is programmed to recognize movements associated with each letter form. In calligraphy mode, it can buzz the user when the letter shape is being created oddly. While in orthography mode, it can be used to pick up spelling or grammar mistakes. One buzz for spelling errors and two for grammar. While the pen is aimed at those learning to write, provided the prediction software is advanced or flexible enough, it could also come in useful for uncertain spellers adrift from the digital safety net of wiggly red lines in word processing software. Even your sticky notes can be spell checked. And let's not forget the perfection of your penmanship. We could all use a little bit of that, couldn't we? Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&D TV, I'm Megan Zimba and this has been your Engineering Newswire.